Hello everyone, Delightful here. I like the novel and the news, so today, let's see what the Indwell has for me and you. It has some Legend of Keepers. So this is, this is a sort of roguelite, turn-based tactics RPG, a light RPG, focused on being the big bad keeper, who all the heroes want to take down, right? You're working for the, the other big bosses, and you're guarding their treasure, and they're paying you and sending you minions and stuff. It's like... It, it's sort of like a fantasy take on you're a member of the Guild of Calamitous Intent, which is kind of funny. If you if you remember Adventure Brothers or anything, which is a fun series. I think, yeah, we'll continue to save. i got about six hours in this one. I like it. I figured I'd show it. Give me a break. We'll give everyone a break from Master of Magic slash Dominion 6 slash Age of Wonders 4. More heavy tactics strategy games, or 4x strategy games. Continue an old save here. So this, I said roguelite, right? So made a progression. It to, is inevitable. Good voice work here. Yeah, so talent progression. We can show it right here. It's potent, but at the same time, you can win levels absent any of it, right? So I've got about five points, exactly five points in. So I can add treat instead of starting monsters. This gives, expands my monster hand. It's not a card game, card game or anything. I'm just saying hand. I start with monsters in addition to whatever this scenario would give me. And then monsters, attacks, so my dots have a 30% chance to apply additional stack. This is powerful. And you can reset the tree whenever you want, which is generous. I put a chaos to it, but eh, whatever. So you can focus on light on flamboyant lightning. Which is a spell you're this uh, not pretender, this this boss, this big bad boss can cast. I like this, so we'll go with this. That's good. So you see I've done about three levels with her. I've unlocked the first, second, and the third. You'll see each level gives you different, well, different factions, different kind of monsters to have. I have demons and elementals here. Succubus, fire elemental, wind elemental. So she's very elementalist and caster themed. Whereas the centaur, the starting character, is very... He's just a beast, this guy. Torture? It's a passion. <laughs> Excellent voice work, yeah. So he's a fun guy, isn't he? <laughs> Slave holder, yeah. He's got green skins and the undead. And it green skins and demons in this case. And then you take them up to... Well, that one's locked. We can go that way. The ethereal and the ephemeral. Dragons. Dragons are a thing. Creatures of the deep. So, there are options. So many ideas! This character I don't like. She's got a... She's a monkey... Uh, mutant genius thing. But she's not... She's super weak up close. So she has, like, gadgetry and stuff. But it puts all this sort of steampunky stuff in my fantasy game, and I tend not to be super a fan of that. Torture, so he's awesome. It's a passion. And I like casters, so I go with the Enchantress. Inevitable. She's like a plant lady who's gone bad, a treatant. Uh, elemental, so I can pick... So there is an element of procedural generation here, just in terms of whatever events you're going to get, what monsters, what <laughs> monsters from our point of view, what heroes are going to fight, things like that. But there isn't much of an exploration focus, per se. I suppose I could go to three, or I could challenge myself a bit more and go to stories and legends. Oh, sorry, start artifacts as well. This one I have Knight's Ashes. Fire attacks deal 30% of base damage as morale. Oh, so I like burn them up and it cooks them morale. Yeah, morale is also a factor of this. Think like, a good way of framing this is a reverse darkest dungeon, but you're the boss. Yeah. Animated cacti I got. Minus morale. Oh, I, okay, so winning this, I get an animated cacti. Okay. And I got the crystal catalyst. This is the rewards I get. Hmm, I don't know if has a preference. Oh, I can also do the ocean hybrids. I think I lost to this one before. So, this is the intended progression. I think these are optional sort of missions. They don't have a reward, though. Let's go with three. I want something. So I get... Undead elementals, or undead demons and elementals. Dark Magus is a demon, right? Flame Eater's another demon. The elemental. Skeletal Souls. Yeah, this will be fine. I can customize as well if I like. Mm, Twitch integration. Don't see the need. <laughs> Game length. Oh, you can, yeah, you can customize a bit. Oh, and it, see, it changes my experience gain, so they give you a little bit more meta progression for a push your luck. I like that. Heroes, well, let's go medium. At level 3, it should be fine. And difficulty hard. Okay. I see. I can make it hard for myself and make the monsters stronger. 
We'll go normal for now. I can probably handle Following hard. the path of destiny. Ah. So for clearing the last one, I get a promotion. So I get some another spell phase. I can pick these three abilities. We are delighted to offer you one of these new sets of parchments to used in your new arcane spell room. All right. Guy's Vengeance, Nature Damage, one target though, hits the front, you see. Back Damage, tar 75 of the type most their weakest to, not bad. Cursed Seed, 20 Nature, hits everyone. Fire and Ice, I like Fire and Ice. Ricochets the hero position behind the target if the target's ice resistance is negative. Okay. Freeze, 100%. Ice damage applies tiredness. That's nice. And poison corpses. What else we got here? Sandstorm air damage. I'll go this one. And this is how the game flows. So we have my keeper down here. <laughs> my keeper. Yeah, Legend of Keeper. Sorry, I'm a keeper. So like dungeon keeper. Here's my monsters. So room one, room two. We have two fighting rooms, trap rooms, spell casting rooms. And then they try to get me. I'm guarding the treasure, right? So I got, what are you? Area. So these creatures can level up if you pay money. Dark Magus, Succubus. The most important thing are their resistances, honestly. Because you want to balance out to handle what the hero's got. First battle shouldn't be that bad. And we got trap as well. No, traps, where are they? Here we go, here. I got Crystal Catalyst, Ice and Air, and Applies Magical Weakness, and Cursed Prism. Alright. That's fine. So you pick one of each task to do per week, right? Because you're just chilling in the fortress. Just chilling in your, your castle, guarding the treasure, right? Where, wherever that keep happens to be. I can go engineer, spend some of my gold here. This is within run progression, right? I don't keep this in between. What you keep in between, I guess, is your the promotions I unlocked. That additional spell casting phase I get. And the the meta progression on the the keeper. A trainer, I can spend money to upgrade my peoples. A merchant, I can buy more monsters. That's... Mm, I have a bit, because I start with two treatments. Normally, I'd start with three, right? But I have this, so I start with four each. That's pretty good. Hmm. I need to assess what I'm lacking, right? So, Dark Magus is good verse. He's got kind of trash magic resistances overall. And he's a morale. I don't really value him. He targets morale. Uh, this keeper doesn't really do much of that. I have a succubus resistant to fire, weak to ice, treating as good versus nature a little bit, trash to fire as you might expect, and the flame eater is good to fire. My resistance is kind of trash. Fricus, the skeletal mage, he's actually this guy, the skeletal magus, as opposed to the dark magus, resistant to fire, weak to ice, crap armor, minus 45%. This guy's good. I'd I like another fire mental. 80% fire resistance. He's not going to take much from fire. Okay. I'm going to visit the merchant. Time Watcher. Applies slowness. Area air damage. Applies haste. A ballista. Broken armor is pretty decent. That's all junk. I uh, have a Time Watcher. What else you got? A polar portal. Oh, I want the ice elemental. Yeah. Because he is the opposite of the fire elemental, as you might expect. I want you. And I want the polar portal. Because dots are really powerful in this game. The skeletal cultist. Uh, resistances are not that great. I'm good. Um, one more time. Let's see what we got. Skeletal scientist. Nature poison. The monster's altar. So that's flayed humans. A mon flayed hero skin there. Back. Morale. I'm not going morale. That's fine. Okay, a week has passed. Engineer don't have the money. Trainer say the warning you don't, they don't have you, that you do not have the money, which is generous. Let me do an event. A lot of the game is defined by these events. I placed a bet on a boar racing game during lunch break. The winner, the one you chose, finished first, and you won the jackpot. So I can either take the money or celebrate to boost morale. I want the money. I need it. This might tie into a different event later, though. Ooh, a plunder. Remember, we're bad guys. Save, send three volunteers to plunder. We got any heroes coming up. Yeah, three guys. And they're going to volunteer, right? So, that'll be fine. First battle should be fine. Alright, so we can, we can target the disreputable tavern and get some gold. And we'll find a monster. 
We can target the production workshop. Risk of injury. Upgrade a trap. Our next dungeon. Speed increases. Oh, we're faster. Volunteers. Eh. Plunge of a disreputable tavern. Oh, cost money to raid? Oh. Two volunteers. You cost nothing. I can upgrade a trap. Do that. Your volunteers have forced an engineer to make a trap for them and to serve as a guinea pig for the trap. Hi. <laughs> That's nice. Bad guy member. Oh, someone got injured. They've even brought a researcher back who's been spared in exchange for a trap upgrade. Okay, and someone was hurt in the raid. Ooh, that's a level 3 now? That's really good. That's two upgrades. Normally the engineer would upgrade it by one for a gold cost. So he's injured and can't fight for a couple turns. That's fine, because now I have a tier 3 trap. That's very good. 5% max life as ice damage per turn. I'll take another event. Yeah, take another event. R&D needs a guinea pig. Yeah, I don't value my skeletons. There you go. Money. Remember, bad guy, right? So yeah, they just took him. He's gone. <laughs> 500 bucks, though. Alright, so I think this is as good as it can be. And then I choose which hero group I want to battle. It gives you an indication of their difficulty. Who pays the most? It's going to be, like... My, my employers, right? The guild wants me to defend either the Aztec Ruins, the Frozen Caves, or a stronger delve going after the the Aztec Ruins. That's a bit of money. Three stars. There's a resting room, too, huh? Oh, lots of money. Alright, here's the meat of the game, the combat. Oh, 50-50 of it. This guy's a different. He looks pretty cool. It's like a dragoon. Dragon Knight. He is a dragoon. So it's very important to look at what the heroes do. This guy, he attacks the center because he leaps in like Kane from Final Fantasy IV. He does doing physical damage, so I want someone with heavy armor physical in the middle. He also reduces initial duration of penalties reduced by one turn for a minimum of one. They all have passives too. The rogue is a ninja. Sorry, it's a ninja. He does 25, ew, 25 nature damage to everyone. He's nasty. So we want some nature resistance here. He applies poison to the monster of the highest life at the start of each fight. He applies elemental weakness. And then we have a Hellbringer, so stuff like an Arcane Archer. Ice damage to the back, so there we go, we know the answer. Well, uh, yeah, maybe. Ice Elemental's really good for frost resistance. He has good armor, too. I was hoping to put him in the middle. Put him here. Right, so he's gonna, because he's gonna fire back, ice. And he resists 80% of ice, so that's what you do. You normally want to balance the resistances. He also dodges the first activation of the first trap, and he hits all monsters. I can do that. Oh, the attack hits all monsters. Oh, God. He can just do that. It's going to hit everyone for 70% less of 58, though. 70% 70 70 less of the 58. Alright, is anyone hitting the front? No one's hitting the front, ironically, is the safest spot here. Uh, you, you are resistant to fire because he is a Dragon Knight. Uh, is he weak to nature? No, so Succubus up front. Excellent drawn art there. And air is... He's kind of trash. I guess we'll put the treatment in the middle. There we go. And now the trap I want to use. Probably the level 3 portal. Crystal Catalyst. Yeah, so we'll put that there. They'll hit that air and it'll blast them. Another trap area. So you see here is the flow here. Uh, I have a spell casting phase where I blast them as they enter the lair I'm defending. They fight my minions, the first squad. Traps. They I blast them again. Uh, I think they're resting there. I can place another trap. Ten air applies magical weakness. Damage taken from master's spell increases by 50%. Tempting, but no, because there's another troop wave. I want to weaken their resistances. With the Cursed Pism. Cursed Prism. You're sent to attack again, huh? Any armor? You have armor, so I'll put the elemental, the fire elemental in the middle. And... Oh, you just fire damage back, huh? Hmm. Skeletal Magus front, and... Treating in the back. And then, if they get to me, I'll finish them. But I don't want to take hits, right? I'm a lot harder to heal than my minions. So here we go. I can open up with a spell immediately. 
poison corpses. Oh, it's 40 nature damage. Applies poison bodies. Oh, it poisons them, so when they die, they're like, rupture is nasty. Hunter sees flashing who it's gonna hit. How about this? Oh. See, he's weak to ice. So, ricochets at the hero position behind the target if the target's ice resistance is negative, so it's going to ricochet. Very good. I'm gonna hit my first squad. So, this isn't an auto battle. This is not an auto battle. I do tell them what to do. It does hit everyone nasty. So we gotta choose, right? Now remember, I cannot change the position of my troops directly. Like, if, if shoot a drop, he would become front, but he wouldn't move, right? But that that's how your position might change in terms of the ability you use. Yeah. So what do I want to do? Infection might be the thing, because Dawn's very potent. Infernal Kiss, he's resistant to fire, so no. Infectious Kiss, she gets around. Uh, now remember, he's weak to ice, the Dragon Knight. So frozen... Thorn, 70 ice consumes a stack of frostbite applied to the target. I didn't frost him yet. Ice weakness, 3, huh? If he's going to last 2 turns, that could be worth doing. I don't know if he will, though. Let's try. So now he's weak to ice. The tree's gone. Uh, yes, excellent death effects on her. Yep, roasted. Remember, the heroes are tough. Here we go. He'll take more damage from this. They're taking dot damage, and I can blast them again. Flamboyant lightning. Applies enchanted seed to the next group of monsters. Each monster gains 10% life once transformed. No, because that loses their form. Maybe it occurred after they died. I'll just give them all nature dot. So she's all about applying elements of damage and dotting them down. Swarm of mosquitoes. Nasty. 40 physical. Physical. So the knight's resistant. The rogue is not. Jane has some magic too. Or armor. Tropical flood. Morale. Not going morale. Pollen cloud. Yeah, do that. He's gonna die. We got the dot got him. And that's gonna further hit the resistances. My last squad will crush these guys. See? There's the initiative order there. It doesn't matter. Right, I doubt they'll act again, though. Fear of the dead. You are weak to fire. Fireball. No, my elemental died. Poison leaves? Root. Yeah, poison leaves. So that'll apply to both of them. Yep. That's fine. From the earth you were born, and to the earth... <laughs> You can also slow it down if you want, but you can see the dot got him. Life absorption will almost kill him. Frozen Rose will kill him. See? <laughs> but they got to me though. Get my gold, get my hero blood. You get tears if you scare them away. Like, if you, you can just like, shatter their minds. I'm not really focused on that with this, it's more dots. Skeletal dog, good armor, good ice protection I guess. That's a morale build. Applies enhanced resistances to the monster of the group at the front and guarantee. Yeah, I don't think so. They just don't last long enough. This guy's good, good armor. Skeletal science is nature damage. I'll go for the skeletal soldier. So, it's interesting and light combat system motivation. It's really more of a, a dungeon manager. So, I'm going to take him out so he can heal. They'll heal over time in here, healing their pips up, or getting their morale up. See, this is why you want to have a big roster, though. I'll put you in room two. Alright, those that's fine. I need more monsters, though. Trainer is tempting, seeing the amount of money I have. So I can train him, give him 30 more hit points, improves his air and fire resistance. Sure. And... Ooh, you're level two. I can make you level three. So that improves his power, his nature resistance. Yep, there we go. The elementals I do value. The succubus. Sure. I mean, high level monsters make a big difference. Because I can, if I can just last one more round, that's another round. I can put more dots on him. I don't really value him. I spent all my money anyway. A therapist. So we'll go to the monster therapist. 
An employee morale review done by a specialist. Yeah, so very very corporate evil we got here. Uh, another therapist. Now we're good. Let's see, he is healing. Uh, when's our next event? We got some time. I can take you out of rotation. Let you heal up a little bit. An event might give me some money. One of your employers. Sorry, not employers. One of your employees has accidentally discovered a long lost secret tunnel. It leads to a treasure room full of gold and housing a rare and valuable artifact. You can keep everything for yourself, like a good villain would. Reward your employee with some gold or give them an artifact. Oh, so I can level them up. I can keep it myself. Reward him. All monsters of the group gain enhanced resistance at the start of a fight if the group contains an elemental. Oh, that's a nice item. Yeah, so it's important to read this carefully. If I keep it, I get this. If I reward it, if I give him the reward, offer. You can keep everything for yourself. Reward your employee with some gold. I can reward him with gold or give them the artifact. Uh, I don't want the artifact myself. Because I didn't have one. That... So all monsters of the group gain enhanced resistance at the start of fight. So I need to make certain each one of my group has an elemental. You are flame eater. You are an elemental, I believe. No, you're a demon. That's an elemental. That's a plant or a treatant. You are an elemental. So all I have to do is make certain I always have at least one elemental in. And we'll have resistances up by 20, which is huge. Alchemist just converts this stuff in between. I don't really need to do that. Regarding the bet you placed in one on a boar race a while back, a hulking, shifty troll has come to demand you return his cash. Not gonna happen. You could also have one of your nearby employees get beaten up on your stead. No, I'll just kill myself. So I'll fight him. And I, I, I killed him, drained his blood, but I lost a little bit of hit points fighting him. That's fine. These guys are not all healed up, but I need them. There we go. I like going veterans because I get more stuff. Ah, oh, that's, that's low gold. It's a three star. Rewards an artifact, though. I want that. There we go. So you can have up to five artifacts. They're pretty good. Alright, so we got Arthur, low level Arthur. Alana. So Arthur's a knight. Physical damage applies a bleed, and he gets angry when he is defeated. And he gets. makes everyone else angry, too. So a melee fighter. A Mamluk. Okay, so like a, an Eastern Knight. But he doesn't have his, his horse or camel. But his air damage to the back. Well, I'm gonna hit him with magic first, so. Oh, this is a. This is a wizard. Fire damage, mainly. So, Arthur is weak to cold, as you might expect. He's in plate. He, that, that temperature is gonna go right through it. And. The Mamluk is as well. To always look at the resistances, that's how you win. So, physical. I want someone tanky in front. The Ice Elemental is pretty tanky. And remember, these resistances are going to be 20% better. So she's gonna, he's going to be effectively immune to ice. Putting him in front, though, would be iffy because fire. Who's... Ah! Hmm. Although, this isn't good because they're both hitting the front. Like, she'll hit the Psychers with fire. She'll mostly shrug it. Take a little bit. But then the knight's gonna cut her down. Mm. Best bet might just put, put the elemental in front. Because of his, this diamond here. He'll at least have 20 resistance to it. And you're firing back air. Psychers in the back. It's important to remember, like, when they say front and front, this isn't quite like... What was it? Darkest Dungeon, or games like that. This is a reverse Darkest Dungeon, but you, they can use their abilities in whatever position they are, right? They don't have to be in the front to target the front. All they have to do is... All you really want to do is line up your characters opposite the heroes, right? You're mirroring them to counter their resistances. And I guess nature, because they're all weak to nature. So see, it's tactical, but it's light tactics. This guy be pretty good here. Oh, he's weak to fire because he's undead. Hmm. That's still going to be a negative 10 with the, with the diamond here, the prismic stone. 
Frickus. <laughs> Ah, he has trash armor. A fire elemental, not bad. Him in front might be the move. Yeah, looks so cool. So unexpected to fight a fire elemental in this kind of frigid hellscape, right? And air, who's resistant to air? The treatment, no. Frickus is. There we go. Oh, you look cool. Fire demon. Area fire adds two stacks of the penalty and most stacks are applied. Are they all... Are they all... Arthur's pretty resistant to fire. As is the Pyromancer. So they'll treat it again. And then... Ice and air. Applies magical weakness. Yeah, sure. And they'll be dead before they reach there. Frost them. So you see there's a simple charm to the game. It's light, but... There is depth here. Magical brambles, remember, they're all weak to nature. Hit my first group. She's gonna do the frost attack, and then she'll do the fire. It's the initiative order there. That's gonna hurt, it's fine. Infernal kiss, no, we want infection. Whatever you have, dear lady. Call the lightning, yep. Now, are you frosty? You are. See, because he is. He has stacks of frostbite from my trap earlier. That frozen thorn's gonna punch right through them all. Nasty. That one shot almost ended them all. And he, he's, the frost elementals are really good, the ice elementals. Poison leaves? Got them all up. They probably won't even break through this. Mm. Spread the infection. Oh, such a cool death effect on the succubus. Okay, at least waste Arthur. Alright, so they'll cut through my first rank. That's gonna hit them around a little bit. That's oh, the dot got her. See, the dot triggers at the top of the rank, so I can kill them before they get a turn. Oh my. Kill him. Wow. <laughs> Crunch. Oh, a nice artifact. The Pocket Mirror. Damage of the first attack suffered by monsters placed at the back, so my third rank there, is returned to the Assailant. That's pretty nice. Nightmare Catcher. So I like a demoralized build. Like, focus on tears as opposed to blood. Blood you get from heroes killed. Tears from heroes scared. You Like, you drain their will. Demoralized deals 200% physical damage instead of morale. Huh. Okay, so you could do direct. You could convert morale damage to physical damage. Okay, and it gives it a big boost. It deals like double. It's an interesting way of doing it. And the skeleton figurehead. It's like a, a figurehead on a ship. All monsters get a random bonus. Yeah, I like that. Gimme. The artifacts are very powerful. And she, yeah, she got pounded a bit because she died. And I brought her back. And right, she gets some time off. Wait, wait, do we have any training up? We do have a trainer. I don't have enough money, we gotta do an event. Alright, so you, you can take some time off. And... My elemental, I want him healed too. Mm, yeah, those three. We need more troopers. Event. A strange gentleman in the guise of a toy manufacturer knocks on the door and offers to sell you a range of amusing items. You request nothing in exchange other than the materials to make them. A strange and troubling force physically prevents you from declining. Yeah, he's something. He's a, de de a devil or something. My 75% life you choose to pay in life points. I can pay in life points because they're not reaching me. And he'll give me the pocket mirror. If I sacrifice a minion, that's pretty evil. I don't much value him though. I get a miraculous pill. Monsters placed at the back perform an additional attack. But lose speed, so they, they act last, pretty much. And start fighting with less life. Mm. So that could be good if you place them first. And boom, boom. Blood. You want my blood, huh? Oh, my monster, my, my gathered blood, not my blood. Mammon's brigand's bone, so like a saint's bone. Monsters placed in the group containing only skeletons. So like an undead build. Gain $15 resistance. Nah, I'll just pay in life. I'm a bad guy. I'm not that bad, right? Not gonna betray my monsters. 
black market? I can sell monsters. That's pretty evil, too. Or do an event. I'll do an event. A work accident. A trainee has spilt a burning hot drink on you in front of the blood spice latte machine. <laughs> so I can punch them or I can insult them. Do I want tears? Be careful. Take the tears. He's very sad. This is a very effective insult. I can send one of my monsters on a business trip. <laughs> are they healing? They are healing just slowly. Hmm. A plunder. Send three volunteers. I can't spare three. We can do a little business trip, though. The management would like to send one of your employees to the sales department to be the bodyguard. You'll be compensated, of course. So I get him back. So I can send Frickus for eight weeks. I lose him for eight turns, and I get some blood. I can send the... Oh, you know who I want. He's level three. A demonic pendant. Plus, terrified to all heroes when a demon is defeated. What's that do? Morale take it, morale damage taken. I don't care about that. You got my fire elemental. Motivation. Eh, I guess I'll do this. A therapist or an event. How are we looking? Mm. Yes, he's gone for a bit. Uh, once it goes to the champion, I gotta fight. I gotta pull these guys out. Room one, room two, uh, room one, she was effective, room one. Therapist. An employee morale review done by a specialist. I can do an extended review for plus two. Very good. Oh, okay, I can go after. So that that resolved all the morale issues. Cause it's not their health, I bring them back. It's just They're all beaten up and demoralized. Champion's going to be a tougher fight. Alright. Bit of gold, though. Alright. Oof. A necromancer, huh? Archmage. Selenor. He does ice damage to the front. He's got a frost brand. Okay. He dots me in cold. Hmm. The Archmage is weak to fire. Well, I mean... I'm going to get a herbalist. She does nature damage to the back. Heals one hero of 25th, 25% of their life once. <coughs> after a fight, though, she's going to do that after each fight. If she lives. We got a nice wizard. So he's the champion there. A lot of ice. Ice resistance. They're all ice resistant. Hmm. Alright. Makes sense, I guess. Cursed Prism might be a better choice then. Yeah, I'll go with that. Just because they're ice weak uh, resistances. He does ice front though, so. I want my ice elemental there. He hits an area of ice. Back nature. Oh, there we go. Back nature. Who's the best at nature? Probably the treatment. Because we also have this artifact. All monsters get a random bonus. Damage of the first attack suffered by a monster placed at the back. So turn to the assailant. So I can return his nature damage. Or the ice will vax first. Probably the ice. They are weak to fire, so I should bring the fire elemental in. And nature in the back, right? Ice up front. The skeleton is not resistant to ice. No, that's like a thing. Monsters behind this skeletal soldier take less damage 25% less my skeletal soldier up front I guess my flame demon there oh no no I'll do the the crystal catalyst because it makes them weak to my magic damage taken from a master spell increases by 50% so the keeper <laughs> there we go hit them around a bit oh their magic resistances reduced by 20 Alright, remember he that's not gonna spread because he is The ice resistance is not negative. It's ten effectively. Freeze is not the move either. Poison corpses, I think. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, that's the frost. Oh, this guy. He randomly moves people. That really screws me over. Alright, fine. <laughs> 
Burn them all. You're very good looking spell effects. Oof. See, that would be much better if he was in front. I cannot move them. Like in Darkest Dungeon. Like in Darkest Dungeon, you could. Slowed. Enhanced resistances. Glacial Spirit Recon. Damaging attacks apply Frostburn, too. That's a Frost Dot. Enraged and Hasted. 70 applies Ice Weakness. Sure. Because that also applied that Frostburn as well. They're already taking a lot of hits. Yeah, I frost fire almost is gonna take a lot from that. He's gonna kill my tree. No! That's fine. 70. Do it. There we go. See if he had been in front like intended. Oh, I can kill the mage. Do it. He healed. Yeah. Yeah. Persecute. 27 fire adds two stacks to the penalty with the most stacks applied. Okay. Fire shield. Looks 35% of damage taken as fire. Stone spear, put a dot. Oh, impale. Deals 100% of the final damage to the hero positioned behind. So this guy's, yeah, pretty good up front. Dot's ticking. Yeah. Took his head there. She can get pretty intense. Uh. And they're no going to die. Can defy nature. Life absorption, I can just eat them. Do that. You'll make excellent fertilizer. It did injure me though. Frozen rose. <laughs> a nightmare marrow. That sounds so cool. It's a trap. Minus 60 life or morale, depending on which is lower. That's pretty nasty. Or I can get the pill. Or I can get that... What the hell is that thing? <laughs> Looks pretty cool. It's a demon. AoE nature damage and demoralize. He's a, okay, it's a composite unit. He does, AO, he does damage and morale damage. He can hit a whole area of nature and morale. And he applies tiredness if morale is missing. The pill... Uh, Nightmare Mary just seems so fun. Yeah, I take Nightmare Mary. The other guy looked cool, but... Uh, we took some damage from that. So some people's got to heal... You, I think. Don't oh, you. I'll put you in room two for now. A merchant. We need more people. More skeletal peoples. Pile of bones, a trap. Minus morale, ricochets the hero position. No, it's not. It's. No, I think it's a trap. It's a trap. See, it doesn't have a type. Yeah, it's a trap. Ricochets the hero position behind the target if they're demoralized. So you can damage morale with them, scare them. Skeletal, little skeleton, major eat. Back damage, so it's like a rogue skeleton. Fire, morale, nah. Ice skeleton is resistant to ice. Does ice damage, applies frostbite to the front. Applies to moralize. Who else you got? Sirens, harps. Air damage and boost our resistances. Another fire elemental. I'll take it. Unstable elemental. Mm, nah, it's just physical damage. A skeletal archer. Nature, nature, huh? Alright. A skeletal execution or morale damage. Not feeling it. One more. Poison darts a trap. It only hits the front too. Ew. Dark Megas. 
Crap armor, morale, no. Time watcher, air damage, no. A mortar. Hmm. <laughs> nah, no, they got nothing I want. Well, this guy maybe. He's got decent resistances. Skeletal cultist. No, he's just morale again. I don't care about that. So you're a bit injured, though. I can do a workout, yeah. You have the gym all to yourself. What are you going to train this time? So I can use the, the bits I have here to strengthen myself. I like the rings for more health. I can do as many as I want, actually. As many as I can afford. Regeneration, so I can regenerate more per turn. And then increase my armor a bit. In case they reach me. A ritual. Receive essence of knowledge from the mystical tree to amplify your arcane spells or learn new ones. You stand before the mystical tree, because she's a tree druidess monster thing, and receive essence knowledge from the ritual. For the ritual, the remaining essence knowledge can be used during your next visit. I haven't seen this before. In addition to the one, you'll be granted again. Uh, okay, so I have a hundred. I can learn... Sandstorm. I can learn... I guess I can learn these new abilities. Or upgrade an existing one. Okay, so it's upgrading my the spells I have. Which ones do I like? Poison corpses can do... Eh. Blazing can do 10 more. I can unlock Cursed Seeds. Minus 1% of the target's maximum morale per target's missing life percent. 75% eh. of type equivalent of lowest resistances. Sandstorm could be okay. Yeah, I'll just do this. Oh, I can do more than more. I can do more than one thing. Interesting. I'll learn Sandstorm. I'll amplify it. Fascinating. I haven't seen that before. Alright, whose doctor will heal me? Hmm. Uh, he can stay out, I think. I don't need him. Let's take the vets, I think. They offer a master bonus. Nice. Yeah, more money. So it does get tougher as you go. Alright, so we're in the tombs. These guys, I got a shaman like a voodoo priestess into skulls. She does fire damage, she's weak to ice. And low armor. The archer, ice damage in the rear, and nature damage up front. Weak to fire. I should put the soldier in here, huh? She hits. No, okay, she doesn't have the ability to hit everyone. She shoots the back, so therefore, ice guy in the back. He does nature damage. She is. He is nature resistant. There we go. I'll put the archer up front. That's the move. And they're all kind of... Well, only she's resistant to fire. Nature, he's resistant to nature. So therefore the elemental. The nightmare mirror. Well, I mean, I have to try it out. And are they weak to ice? They... Mm, somewhat... And you do nature damage up front, you're resistant to nature. You do ice in the back. Oh. Hopefully she'll be dead <laughs> by the time we get to this. And we fire, retreating's not so good versus fire. He's trash versus ice as well. He's retreating's more resistant to ice than the fire. No, he's not. It is ice, yeah, okay. He's more resistant to ice than the fire demon is, so we'll go off the tree. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this group will reach me either. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Lightning on you? Not bad. Brambles, nature resistant, nature resistant. Nice lightning with them gone.
I guess I'll slow it down if you want. That's too fast for you. But it tends to drag, I find, if you don't speed it up at least to two. Toxic volley, poison arrows. Well, that was the strategy I wanted to do, right? Take that guy out. And light them all up. That's the move right there, Frozen Thorn. That's gonna pierce right through because of the frostbite that's on him. So it's important to slow down and look sometimes. Damage of the first attack suffered by monsters placed at the back is returned to the assailant once per fight. I don't know if that occurred. All monsters of the group gain enhanced resistance. So I want to. I could pelt them all. No, I should that guy gone. The archer in the back. And this will almost do it. The dot will handle him. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> they might not clear this group. <laughs> Spark. It will leak past. All right. I just keep going with the dots. Now they're close. That's good. Yeah. Might kill the art rogue too, though. Nope. God got me. And she healed him. It's fine. Oh, that's cool. They'll heal it. It's fine. Blazing snowflakes, sandstorm, randomly moving them. No, just let them up. And she dies here. Flame shield, we got nice. Magma ball, just burn her. Hmm. And what do I want? More life absorption being a little stronger. Eight more. More armor. It's pretty good because I have like crap armor. Or lightning dealing a little more. I want more armor. If they do reach me, I want to take less damage. There we go. And you can rest. You need to rest badly. As do you. Need more monsters. A trainer? Sure. Spend gold to train your active monsters. I will train up my... And you. That's good. Oh, he's good now. Put him in room one. Work out again? Yeah, work out again. I don't have tears for any of the, <laughs> the skipping rope, unfortunately. So I can skip up really, really fast. The merchant? Uh, warning me. I want the therapist, actually. Let's make my monsters feel a little better. Better? Ish, yeah. Those two are healing. Plunder. We'll send someone out to plunder. I get plus three volunteers. No volunteers get motivation. Necromancer's lair. I find a monster. Let's do it. Visiting the sinister practitioner of forbidden magics will give you a volunteer's nightmares. It was worth the trip. The necromancer conjured a monster ready to serve you. Okay, so we just paid a visit to the necromancer. He's creepy. 
Probably gave me an undead, right? Yeah, another undead. Let's put him in room two. And... Is this good? Yeah, he's not even healing, so yeah, I'll put you in room one. I think I can only heal two at once. What are you offering me? An artifact, huh? I like artifacts. Yeah, gimme. I like this map, it's pretty cool. Like a dragon cult there. A bloody dragon cult. That is Roland, so Roland the Knight. Bleeding, he's like Arthur. The Dragon Knight, so the... He's gonna leap in. Different passive, though. The, the first ability always seems the same. Maybe the second, too. Damage dealt increased by 25% per penalty applied, so he's gonna do a lot. Sweep to ice, sweep to ice. And the Enchanter. Nature damage hits everyone. Ah. He also randomly moves all monsters to another position at the start of the fight. So he's probably gonna screw up my positioning, which he's the threat, actually. No, he does it immediately, so I can like, kill him first ahead of time. Oh, well. Hmm, knowing that. Uh, armor 95% on Roland. Wow, good thing I saw that, huh? Don't try to physically cut this guy down. His arm is super thick. He's weak to ice. So, I mean, my ice elemental would be the good one in the front. Or in the middle because of the Dragon Knight. Who else has got good armor? No one else. In the front he goes. Hmm. Air. He's weak to ice. That's air damage. Is he weak to air? Not really. A little. Not weak per se, just not so great versus it. He's got decent armor. No one else. Look how crappy armor. Uh, he'll, he'll die. It's fine. He's gonna shoot the back. Not good versus him. And Chan just got 75% resistance to nature. He can hit the, these two, I guess. 22. Yeah, that air damage just craft. Just hits the morale. Go with this. It's not gonna be very effective, but... The Nightmare Mara was fun. Or morale, depending on which is lower. 60 to life, or I can just weaken him. Let me just pull the portal. And then... The Nightmare Mara. And then last group. Uh, hmm. In the middle. You should be in the middle. Because... Do you have armor? Who else has armor? The fire elemental has armor. A little. Anyone who deals fire and is resistant to nature? No. So another treatment. So this group will probably reach me. That's fine. Enchanted seed. Nah, that, I can turn all the treatments. They're just kind of slow though, weak to fire. It might not be terrible versus this group, but I prefer to use my units as they are. Hmm. Yeah. Nature. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of arrows. <laughs> oh, look at that. Like a frostbite again. That's very effective. Oh. He didn't take much from that, did he? Poison leaves, Dharma. So good. I wonder if it's related to him. Oh god. It's related to him being level 3. Oh. 
That's fine. This will kill. Yeah, two of them. Dodge just ruining them. And dead to a dot. Oh, the mirror. Yep. <laughs> Nasty. Two birds stone. Yeah, I think that's a good one. Attacks targeting only the hero at the front. Deal 30% of final damage to the hero position behind them. That's pretty good. So things to hit one target, 30% well, um, that's going to pierce through and hit the guy behind him. Homeopathic poison. Heroes with less than 50% of their maximum morale. Well, I'm not hitting morale. Nightmare catcher. No. Two birds, one stone's good. Two birds, stone. Uh, I need some money, actually. That's what I need. Hmm. Ice Elemental, you get some time off, man. You're awesome. Who else needs time off? My archer does. Collector. You know, the tax collectors, but they're vampires, right? A certain type of vampires are here to collect taxes. However, blood is more valuable to gold coins than them. To them, right? Because they are vampires. And you're like super special, your blood's probably super potent, right? They could even grant you a monetary compensation in exchange for blood collection, and you would be exceptionally exempt from taxes. So I can refuse and just pay money. I can accept and give us some of my blood. They should indicate that there, and you gain money or pay with other people's blood. So yeah, I will take the money because I need it. An event. <laughs> this is funny. A monster's been caught with an adult magazine depicting humans. Will you turn a blind eye to this obvious case of anthropomorphia? <laughs> or will you confiscate this to take a look at it? For science, of course. Who is it? Oh, he's been doing good. You can keep it, man. <laughs> he's just studying it for a tactical advantage. Event. Corporate feast. Oh. <laughs> got the undead, got the green skin. Uh, this sort of half giant. Cyclops, you're invited to a work lunch for your employees. They are chanting your name when you turn when your turn to pay for everyone comes. Will you pay for it? <laughs> uh, drinks, pay meals. I'm sure, they've been done, they've been doing well, so that means this guy's all good to go. So it does matter. Keep their morale up. A therapist event. Ah, that was a, that was coming up. Oh well, do an event. Two of your employees have been caught red-handed brawling like, like two L's for a hairbrush. Will you be tough and suspend them for five weeks or threaten them with a pay cut to be sure what happens again? You can always buy them a second hairbrush. So these two have been fighting. I can offer them... I can boost their morale at cost of money. I can ignore it. Or I can sanction them both. I ignore it. i fight. Champion. Nah, there will be an event tied to that later. That's fine. Mm. It's all pretty tough. Reward is rare. A rare what? I don't know. It's a lot of money too though, so I definitely will do that. That's a cool area. What the hell is that? Necromancer. Kalishta? She has ice damage. Oh, oh no. She brings a dead hero back to life as a skeleton warrior at the start of each turn. Okay, we know who to kill first. Kill the necromancer. Yeah. She has a monk, a disciple, sorry. He's like a way the five elements monk. Same thing, avatar. He punches, he does cold damage. Yeah, okay. Cold. Back cold. Cold, cold. And that's an invoker. So, like a wizard. Cannot be affected by penalties dealing damage. What? Can it be affected by penalties dealing damage or morale over time? So don't worry about targeting morale. It's fine. I'll do this with my my elementalist. Cannot be affected by penalties dealing damage. So I can't daughter down. Is that what I'm hearing? Oh no, this is bad. All right. Well, the necromancer must go. That that is certain. They are weak to f no, too weak to fire. The necromancer, as you might expect, is weak to nature because they are unnatural. Hmm. The monk is weak to fire because he's all... He's a cold monk. Crap armor too because I guess he's not wearing much in the way of it. 
What's our initiative over there? The mage goes first and the necromancer. Uh, this is tough. All right. Oh, do I have two people who can take ice damage? Because I'd like you in the front. I don't think so, no. Treating best. And the treatment's going to benefit from the pocket mirror. They are mostly susceptible to nature? Yeah, somewhat. How's their fire resistance? Not great for those two. I'll send the fire elemental then. The nightmare mirror. Ice resistance is pretty decent on all these. The nightmare. And I guess we'll weaken their resistances. Prior to Sacred Altar moves two penalties and the most stack supply. Oh, they're gonna use that. That's gonna s remove my stuff, so just do damage, I guess. They got our healing area. It's fine. Ice. The un no, that undead is not resistant to ice at all. Ew. Oh, they are. Wow. He has crap armor, so the skewer might be good to get the necromancer behind him. A fire three, that's pretty decent. Dark Magus, trash. Um, fire and morale, I don't care about morale. They're treating. So they're probably gonna make it to me, that's fine. The necromancer's the threat. Magical brambles, yeah. Dark is on you. Two minutes. Yep. <laughs> I keep seeing that thought it says spank. No. Light them all up. Yeah, so the okay. Fire dots. Damaging dots don't hurt them, but you she can't you can debuff her. I guess is the thing. Okay. That's concerning. That was the two birds, one stone ability. Triggering there. Attacks targeting only the hero at the front. Still 30% to the hero position behind. Good. That she's immune to dots. That's super nasty. The resistances are really helping though. Inferno. Ricochets to heroes afflicted by burn. You're not burning. She's not going to burn. She'll just take damage from it. Necromancer. Yeah. So he's not taking much from that. His okay, ice resistance is actually 100%. He cannot hurt him. I love that. Frozen Thorn. That's, that's the move, I think. No, oh, she's not frosted anymore. I'll do it. Because if I kill him first, she's going to bring back the skeleton. At the start of each turn, she'll do that. So she must die first. Yeah, but you only do it in combat. Oh! The god with the mirror. Silver Necromancer saw all of it. Alright, now you're weak to air. I can't just sandstorm you. It's like charged particles in the sand, I guess, electrocute her a little bit. Okay. I did that. Hope the game didn't like that. Hmm, is that a bug I've encountered? That's not good. Is it because I used an ability that... Hmm. I used an ability I didn't start with, but I unlocked it in the... That's a bug, actually. It's pretty bad. Hmm. 
Never had a bug with this game before. Especially not an end running one. Bug using sandstorm on a single hero. When I later unlocked it via. I, I don't know. Skill upgrade, we'll call it. In a run, caused the game to stop progressing at the spell phase, I guess. That's weird. What a weird bug, because it's not crashed or anything. I guess it'll do stuff, it's just. Okay, what about if I go to main menu and then see if, if uh, the save will catch it? That's an annoying bug. That's terrible. Following the path of destiny. You're just gonna make me do it all again. All right, so we're not gonna cast Sandstorm. That's that's a really bad bug. It's terrible. Fine. It's fine. I'll just do the same thing I just did. <laughs> it's actually pretty snappy if you put it on high speed. Very flashy too. Touch him. Better. That's only fire damage. Fortunately, I can't ignite it. She's going to kill him. But 35 fire. This does 70, so. Well, it would do 70 if she didn't have 75% fire protection. He's got 80, but still. But resistance isn't really good in this game. Well done. You screwed that. <laughs> that purple is their morale. Now we've learned not to do that, right? So the game was fine with that. She's about to die. Another nightmare, man. I'm good. The ancestral elements, elementals, pretty good. It's a level three, and it can do fire, ice, and air. Eh, it's not bad. It's nice little, little bit of everything. And it's resistant to those elements as well. We taught nature though, because it's like an unnatural thing. <laughs> Monsters gain enhanced resistances when they use an ice attack. Sure. I think that's all the artifacts I can have, though. Yeah. When they use an ice attack. Okay, so we're kind of focused on ice now. So I wouldn't mind more ice guys. This guy I don't really value at all. Why is he even around? He's not good. This guy's crafty too. 
Very crappy. A trainer, a merchant. Yeah, sure, what else you got for me? A gargoyle's a demon in this. Air morale or straight up air damage to the front. And bleeding. And the furnace. Mm. I don't mind the gargoyle. He's resistant to ice. I'll buy him. What else you got? A circular saw. Buzz saw him down. He hits for air and slows them. And they can hit everyone for air. Time watcher, so that's like a time demon. Earth Impaler. Yeah, I don't like the Impaler. They're very passive. Succubus. She's level 3. Octopus Statue. That's just creepy. Hits morale. Applies stun if the target's morale is lower than 50. Skeletal Soldier. Another one? That's good. And these, these are like level 3 units. Very good. So it seems actually a buying units later can get you some very strong units. One of your employees was found dead in the morning. Yep, because of the, the fight earlier. This must be some sort of retaliation after the brawl. They spent so long chilling in the afterlife that coming back to life sent them straight into burnout. So now they have to rest because they really didn't want to come back. Nine turns. Only level one though. Who cares? That's fine. I'm okay with that. Plunder or business trip? I got the troops. We have plunder the feudal castle for a bit of gold. I can plunder the disreputable tavern for a monster. I can set a monster free at Redneck Village. Only 20% chance. I go after the castle. Your volunteers have emptied the castle of all valuables and furniture and have taken several occupants along with them to serve as travel snacks. During the plunder... Oh no, my gargoyle was hurt. But got some money. So he's going to rest. He's out. Yeah, okay. Therefore... Mm -hmm. I guess we'll put you in room two now. A ritual? Yeah, I do another ritual. I'm hesitant to actually use any of these abilities now. Well, the ones I didn't, you know, start with. Can only amplify the same thing once. That's cool. An engineer. Or the doctor. Doctors for healing me. I'm good. I can level this up. Minus 70. Minus 45. We'll upgrade that. The traps upgraded are a really big deal. A seminar. No, a seminary. An outing among colleagues is always a joy. We are only not human. Okay. The monstrous resource manager feels that your employees are at the end of their rope. As such, no, oh, morale is good. Whatever. As such, she is suggesting you... Uh, well, it's not. <laughs> this is like HR. HR doesn't know what they're doing. As such, she is suggesting you try... Is it missing word there? Different activities to stimulate them. A self-serve buffet. But they want blood because they're monsters. A morning jog. How is this good? This is terrible. You're torturing them. An occult ritual. I can feed them from around. No need. They're good. We work out. A yoga. Self. I'll raise my armor by 20. Now it's up 20 now because I've done it like three times. And I'll heal a little bit more. Yeah. I'll spend it on me. A course. An opportunity to send one of your employees to an intense training course. I don't have the money. You received a letter from Monster Training Resources. They'd like to train one of your employees for a large amount of gold. No. Can't do it. Who is available to fight? Most of us are available to fight. Just for variety, I guess. We might need them. Who knows? We'll take... Who offers the most? The stronghold, hard... I don't need the artifact at this point. The trap? No, I'll take the veterans. She only have five artifacts. Need to run. 
So Voodoo, a Sage in the front doing ice damage. Oh, so yeah, he's like an element. He's a with the five elements sort of character. He applies elemental weakness when attacking, so he would eventually punch through. Fire. She removes this skill, also removes penalties when she heals. Okay. So I'll do that after a fight once, and he shoots ice to the back. Ice, ice. Okay. She strong versus ice, strong versus ice, weak versus ice. Ah, oh, that is a nice tier four though. I can blast him with it. Oh, even so, I'll still hit him with it. Hmm. Who else is stronger as ice? It's the undead. The undead is not. Fifteen for the dark magus. That's not great. You in front. And they're mostly weak to fire, I think, so yeah. That's gonna be a lot of ice damage coming in. I don't have the tree int here, because I had some ice resistance. Dark Magus has a little. He's so trash, though. So trash. I'd rather not have him. He hits 80 physical. Yeah, I'll take you. Monsters behind take less damage. Oh, okay, okay. Just to help a little bit. He's not gonna last, but. Nightmare Mara. Ignos, the. Uh, he's one of those composite guys. Uh, he has a high damage air. He's not very resistant to air. I'm gonna put him in front. And put fire in the middle. And we'll use the elemental. Oh, the demon. The gargoyle. So used to <laughs> gargoyles being like earth elemental type things. Don't want to use that. That that causes problems. That's not gonna pass through. I could poison. Yeah, just do that. Drop nasty monster bits on them or hero bits. In this tropical flood plus slowness, speed reduced. Okay. Physical. They're weak to physical, aren't they? Mm. Nasty. Flamboyant lightning. Eh. Round them up. See, I peppered them up quite a bit. That's pretty good at representing how, how it, a villain's not going to fight fair. They're going to throw everything they have at you using the monsters, traps, whatever they can do, remote rituals to weaken the heroes. Because, you know. Individually, these guys are not my monsters. My my thralls are not a match for these heroic creatures, so we have to wear them down. Uh, burn, burn, burn. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to him, because he's at like 120. Oh yeah, we have that thing. Monsters gain enhanced resistance when they use an ice attack, so we do want to try to use ice. Skew it. <laughs> Ouch. There we go. They're dying in this fight. They're not getting through. Oh, look at look how long that spear is. <laughs> I'm guessing they filled up the rank. Power plus 10. Yeah, that seems fun. So he died, so he lost one morale. But we brought him back, and the treatment's all good to go. So we can. One is fine. I can take you out because you're fantastic. Put you in at rank. Well, room, room two. A workout. I got another workout. Black Mark, I can sell some of my underperforming heroes. 
unavailable or injured monsters are less unavailable. What do they mean by that? So the ones in here, I guess, are less valuable. If I'm gonna sell you, well, you know, move them along. Hmm. This guy's just not very good. Train, and I don't think it'll work out again. More armor. Black market, so I can get rid of this guy here. I can only sell one. Okay, well, I can sell another here. Okay. Mm. He's not so good either. Ah, oh, the champion. Room one, room one. A trainer or an engineer? Ah, oh, the engineer. We can move the traps one more time. Right, 70? Sure. That's all I got. So this is going to be a tough one. Maybe. We'll see. So the runs I've noticed tend to go about an hour, an hour and a half. Oh, that's the champion. It's Zendaria. A druidess. AoE nature. Uh, she removes three stacks from each penalty applied to the druidess. So she's going to strip debuffs from her very quickly. Damage dealt reduced by 20% for each penalty applied to the druidess. Oh, wow. So eventually she can be taken 75% less. So dotting her down is going to be difficult. Not impossible, but difficult. The ridiculous bard is here, yeah. He plays the music so bad it hurts your ears. He can apply dodge, so you can dodge a hit. He heals 10% of the hero's max life at the start of each fight. And we got a nature damage. A lot of nature damage here. Resistance to nature, especially these two, and high nature damage. Plus poison the monster for stars the highest life at the start. How's their ice resistance? Not great. How is our... He has decent nature resistance. I should really level him up. The skeleton's not bad in the front, nor is the archer. 50. But I do want him in the front. How's that fire? Terrible. Kind of pretty bad. I want to do ice damage, though. Oh, he's weak to nature. Of course he is. Oh, fielding him here would not be a good idea. He does nature damage, so yeah, he can take it, but I don't really... Yeah. How are you? Can you... 35, so it's gonna be plus 20. That's still bad. He can hit this guy, at least. This guy front. Air. What's their air? His air is not good. This guy could be the move, yeah. Not terrible. And then... The Hellfire. I They'll make it to me, likely. Fire. Tempting, but no. We've learned what happens if I do that. There we go. So because this target in the front has negative ice resistance. Effectively does, I guess. If it ricochets the hero's position behind... Oh, it's not ricocheting, she's doing a lot of damage to him. Actually, we can land it. <laughs> 186 damage. Nice. 70 to everyone. Oof. I can just kill him right now. Poison them. Poison arrow hits the one in the back for 65, or I can hit them both for 20. Uh, poison three. Hit them both. Yeah, that was gonna hurt. I'm 
Nature weakness, that's what we need. So she'll take more. armor too. Just cop the rogue, right? Inferno or magma ball? Inferno. And it pales. Nightmare. Oh, she might not pass these guys. Oh yeah, she will. <laughs> Light. Damage increased by 10% for a stack of penalties applied to the target. Life absorption. No, no, I just wanna. Next turn, she'll probably die. No, she lived. That must be. You'll make excellent fertilizer. Though the resources of the forest may draw the richest of humans, we have to put a stop to their expansion. Leave the skeletons in charge of defending the temple. We need to go back to hunting down these far too intrepid adventurers. Yay, so I cleared the map. Not that tough. My quest is over. That was what, level three off her and she leveled up quite a bit. They no longer have a chance. Quite a bit. It is inevitable. So it unlocks level four. Which is what did I get here? I got the anime cactus, lovely. Is it a trap? I think so. Ace of Spades would give me the skeletal drake, which counts as an undead. Cursed Prism. Customize. Oh, poisonous plants. And you have the anime cactus. The unstable elements, earth elemental, dark magus, which is like junk. Fire impalers, junk, ice impalers, junk. What talents I want. Ah, I can get that when I have to fight. Frozen rose, 5% of max life is ice damage per turn. Oh, that's nasty. Enchanted seed applies thorns. Do I really want the starting treatments? They are pretty good. Like, I obviously want this. Yeah, I'll take that. And then, damage dealt by monsters to heroes affected by frostbite. So this is really focusing me on frost. Damage dealt by monsters affected by burn. So she's very dotty. And I got one more. I guess I'll take the starting treatment. But that seems a good primer on Legend of Keepers. It's pretty good. The torture, it's a passion. This guy's very different. He has different sorts of, uh, we can call them decks, but different sorts of monsters and abilities he does. Grants the master's chance to enrage each time he takes damage. So he hits really hard. It's a giant evil centaur. Damage dealt by the master to heroes. Affected by bleeding. So he's all bleeding. Whiplash, regenerating health. Anyway, pretty good game though. I think I'd show it off. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Bye.